Alright, now let's take a look at example 2. Example 2, we're supposed to evaluate this sum right, without using a calculator. So of course if you you know try to be a smart aleck and press the calculator to get the answer, of course you won't get any marks for that. So let's take a look at how are we going to figure this out without ever using any calculator at all. Alright now, sine 45 degrees plus sine 135 degrees plus sine 225 degrees plus sine 13 uh sorry 315 degrees. Okay, just what exactly is happening here? Well, basically we do know that sine 135 degrees right is in the second quadrant it is the same as sine 45 degrees okay now why is that so well because 135 degrees is in the second quadrant 135 degrees is here all right and the reference angle the basic acute angle is here which is the 45 degrees so we know that um, to sine 135 degrees is the same as to sine 45 degrees in the second quadrant and therefore sine being sine in the second quadrant it is a positive value so sine 135 degrees is the same as sine 45 degrees so okay we have figured this out so far so this is actually the same as sine 45 degrees all right let's, let's just write it up here okay how about sine 225 degrees well we also know that 225 degrees will be actually in the third quadrant so it's somewhere here okay and 225 minus away 180 that will give us our acute angle as 45 degrees again okay so we know that well sine 225 degrees is the same as to say that we want to sign 45 degrees in the third quadrant but because sine is in the third quadrant this all science teacher crazy so this is this quadrant is only I mean tangent is the only ratio this positive in this quadrant so everything else is negative therefore sine is also a negative answer so we do know that sine 225 degrees is the same as a negative sine 45 degrees okay now let us move on to the final one which is sine of 100 uh, sorry 315 degrees all right so uh, we also know that well 315 degrees will be in the fourth quadrant and that that said and done is actually the basic acute angle of 45 degrees here in the fourth quadrant so we know that to sign 315 degrees is the same as to say we want to sign 45 degrees in the fourth quadrant and therefore it will be also a negative answer so what exactly we have here from something th that looks like sine 45 degrees plus sine 135 degrees plus sine 225 degrees plus sine 315 degrees okay we can change this to become sine 45 degrees plus sine 45 degrees okay because we figure out that well sine 135 is the same as sine 45 degrees positive and we know that sine 225 degrees is the negative of sine 45 degrees so this is actually minus sine 45 degrees okay and of course this is as well sine negative sine 45 degrees so what we do figure out here is that regardless of what sine 45 is okay some of you may remember from the special angle that sine 45 is actually 1 over square root 2 it doesn't matter okay even if you can't remember you do know that uh, this sine 45 degrees and this sine 45 degrees will cancel each other this will also cancel each other so the sum is as good as a big fat zero okay so without using any calculator by reducing this obtuse angles of 135, 225, and 315 degrees into an acute angle, we realize that all the acute angles are the same, okay, except for the signs. So it's a positive sign, negative sign, po negative sign, right, and which ended up giving us a big zero.